I guess Falcher can ail enough choice. Mr. Seamus, I guess I shouldn't eat And I'm pretty sure you're all bound to have better garlic than I do. <laughs> Good afternoon. A very, very warm welcome on board the boat. It's nice to see people on board that have actually dressed for the occasion. <laughs> but uh, before we go, sorry, this is Ian MK. So before we go, we have to run through a very quick safety briefing with you, okay? So we start off with that white canister there at the stern. That's housing a 65 person life raft, which of course will only be launched in an emergency. Like Ian and myself, we've never had to use one, we're certainly not planning it this afternoon. The same applies to life jackets. 65 life jackets on board, split between the main seat, the stern here, and under these two side seats for it. Now it is just absolutely glass cam, but still take care if you're crossing the deck. Uh, to the toilet that foot in there, or for whatever reason, especially taking care over the raised principles. And please mind your heads at the top of the wheelhouse and also at the top of the toilet. Now Ian will show you how to put the life wrap up for a quick demonstration and we'll get underway. By the way, as soon as these ropes come off, that's it. There's no turning back. <laughs> We're committed. He's talking to you too. Ryan just like, no. So these are the stern seats that you and they're very simple to walk. It just goes over the head like so. You keep the small bits in the back here and the large bits in the front. You probably think this very fashionable George Roy Manny belt. It goes behind your back like so. Nice and high up. And then a buckle right there. You put this before as well. Then put it tight as you can. Until you're snug as a bug. Look at cool and ready to go for a swim. So in the case of New Hawks abandoned ship, your emergency exit should become very apparent. But if you do wish, I'll give you a reminder that they are, of course, there, there, and there. This is Lauren getting in the skipper seat.
porpoise, sorry, are like miniature porpoise. dolphins. That's the best way to describe them. Unlike the dolphins who immediately come alongside the boat to play, the porpoise just go on with what they're doing. Very shy little animals. That's a very good show, I got, must say. This is legit, an animal. <laughs> We're on a safari. <laughs> yeah, Scottish safari, y'all. Scottish. Scottish. <laughs> now, four points, they already grabbed like four or five feet long. And unlike the dolphins, the dolphins around here, especially the common dolphins, can live up in pods. Anywhere between. Those are jellyfish. Ooh! Oh. But it's these four points, they just like to live by, them, by themselves and it keeps them maybe 10 or 12. Oh my gosh, oh, jelly. Jelly. It's the jellyfish. Dolphins, yes, there's jellyfish though too, and those will get me first. This will get me first. <laughs> Goodness, so beautiful. I was like, oh, look at this. When we were there's a jelly. The Atlantic grey seals in the ones here as well. Very easy to tell which way, or which ones went, sorry. These are all fully grown harbour seals. The sun's got me today, I can't string a sentence together. <laughs> so these are all fully grown common seals. Now a fully grown grey seal is about three times the size, They're absolutely massive. They also have a much longer snout, big, big round eyes. That's the easy way to tell them apart. But all in all, the colony here has got a very, very easy time because there's no natural predators. Yeah. Once in a blue moon, yeah. the, uh, the resident pod of orcas that uh, work out towards the small isles, they'll come in here, but really for an orca to come this far in, it's got to be lost. It's not natural to hunt this far in land. So all these seals have got to worry about on a daily basis is whenever they see the misty isle come alongside, they just have to pose so they're very busy. <laughs> But they've just had their pups just over a month oh. ago. I'm trying to spot one. The ones, there's two to the very, very left. One actually on top of the left-hand rock. That's this year's pups. It's so tiny. They, they were born, it's the tiny. first pup was born here on the 14th of June. So, four oh. weeks ago, not five weeks. There's a pup there coming out of the water. Right at oh. the water's edge. So, oh. so the pups, when they're born, you know, you've seen a rugby ball? Yeah. yeah. So they're, when it's born, it's about the same size as a rugby ball. 
Not much, not much bigger than that. And they weigh about nine kilos as well. They'll stay with their mothers for up to about six weeks, and then after that, the mother pup bond is broken forever. They just tired each other. But the pup in that time will grow every two weeks, double its size, because a seal milk is the richest in fat that any mother can give to its young. It's over 55% pure fat. So they're just piling the pounds on from day one. Got a bulk out, that's my excuse. <laughs> 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 